When writing CSS to style a web page or site, it is important to validate it against the latest standards. Doing so ensures that the code has been written correctly and will remain operational into the foreseeable future. There are a variety of ways to do the validation. Submitting the URL of the web page using the CSS, or uploading the CSS file to the validation server, or direct input of the CSS, usually a copy and paste operation to the validation service. By far and away, the easiest of these is the URL submission method. This can be done manually by copying the URL from the browser, navigating to the Jigsaw server at the w3.org site, clicking the Buy URI tab, and pasting the URL URL into the address text box and then clicking the check button. The results of the validation will then appear in the validation report. While this operation is functional, it is unnecessarily complicated. To speed this up, the use of the validate CSS option of the tools menu in the web developer toolbar available for Chrome and Firefox is recommended and will be demonstrated. First, let's install the Web Developer Toolbar into Chrome. The tool is installed using the Chrome Extension Manager, which can be accessed using the Customize Chrome icon, then choosing More Tools, then Extensions. Scroll to the bottom and click the link Get More Extensions. Then search for Web Developer. Find and click the Install button. When the installation is done, the tool appears as a gear icon. Now let's install the Web Developer Toolbar into Firefox. Click the menu icon in Firefox. Click the Add-ons icon. In the Extensions tab, search for Web Developer, then click Install. When done, click the Restart Now link. The Web Developer tool usually appears as a toolbar in Firefox. With the Web Developer tool installed, we can now use it. Navigate to the web page to be validated. Click the Web Developer tool, followed by Tools, then Validate CSS. The tool captures the URL of the page and sends it to the w3.org validator. The validator then reads the CSS in the page and creates the report, which is then displayed in a new tab of your browser. Check the CSS version. By default, the developer tool is set to tell the validator to check the CSS against CSS version 2.1 standards. That is not what we want. We want to change it to check against CSS version 3 standards. In the Browser tab, with the CSS Validation Report, look in the URL for a part of the URL that says Profile equals 21. Change the 21 to 3. Press your Enter or Return key to resubmit the URL. The page should refresh, showing the results of the validation, but this time using CSS3 as the standard. To make this change permanent, we will change the Web Developer Tool preferences. In the Web Developer Tool, choose the Options tab, usually the last item. In the Options tab, choose Options. A list of settings appears. Click the Tools setting or tab. Click the Edit button on the Validate CSS line. As you did earlier, change the 21 to a 3, then click Save. Close the Options tab. In the browser, navigate to another page and repeat the process to validate the CSS using Web Developer, then Tools, then Validate CSS. Time the validation report should return the results having checked against CSS3 standards and not require you to alter anything in the URL. Review the report. Simple interpretation is that anything that is not flagged as questionable is valid. 
Anything marked with red is an error and needs to be found and fixed in your CSS file. Items marked with warnings should be reviewed but need not be fixed. When a file is completely valid, the report will show a message indicating that no errors were found and will be highlighted in green. The rule of thumb is green is good, red is bad. Errors are usually indicated in red and need to be fixed. Using the Web Developer Tool to validate your CSS is a time saver and makes it easy to ensure that the code you write meets the latest standards. Check your code often to catch errors early.